Steal away, I ain't got long. A prose poem for Robert Coleman Sangor. I have so much things to say right now. So much things to say. Listen, listen to me. I ain't got long. I want to talk to you one more time. Just one more time. I have so much things to say right now. I know your image of me was what I hoped to be. I remember. Remember? Remember how they treated you unkindly? And I am sorry. So sorry. I'll never forget no way how you knew rivers. Your soul was grown deep with rivers. And this song, for you, speaks of the rivers that you knew. Do you know what I mean? You do. Can you dig it? I know that you can. That you know what I'm talking about. You always did. Dig it. Listen. I'm talking about how you would push and push and push. Uphill. Climbing and pushing. Pushing me. Let's go, you and I, you would say. This way, it's not going to go that way. This way, push. Brubeck plays. I have so much things to say right now, so very many things to say. I'll never forget, no way, how you didn't wear the mask. Yet with torn and bleeding heart, you did smile. I'll never forget, no way, your heart, the tear running down your cheek. You tried to blame it on the palsy, but no, I know it was your heart, so unmasked, so tremendous. Is it any wonder that it tore? Brubeck plays. Listen, it won't be televised. You'd been so many places in your life and times, but what are years? Your body was opaque to your soul. Listen, Mahalia sings this song for you. Amazing grace. How precious did that grace appear the first hour I believed in you. Because you knew rivers. You met us first with your spirit and then your mind. That enormous intellect that was in our faces. Principle. But what lie beneath? What was the cause? What propelled the intractable commitment? It was the mixture. Not optic. Rather, of soul, of heart and mind. Constantly outweighing everything because the struggle to speak rivers and to transform the world was an even heavier weight. I'll never forget no way how you knew where you stood in the struggle. And so you kept rising and still you rise. I see you. I know this. I know it because you told it on the mountain, and I am listening now. I am listening. Your living was not in vain. No, the living was not in vain. Neither was the living easy. I know why the caged bird sings, because you loved, loved, loved. Fiercely, I am seeing you now, the color, not black, not white, but purple. The color, purple. Listen, this redemption song is for you, ghetto boy, native son, invisible man. Not a spook like those who haunted Edgar Allan Poe, not one of your Hollywood movie ectoplasms, a man of substance of flesh and bone, fiber and liquids, even said to possess a mind 
invisible simply because people refused to see you. I see you. And I'll never forget no way your smile and the love richer than my tongue. You were gifted, so gifted. You knew rivers. You were never too much with the world stage. Instead, you acted out your life in stages. 10,000 people watching, but not seeing you. Still, you pushed. And you loved. A love supreme. But the soul soon tires from being worn, from knowing too many rivers. You move away. Thou shalt leave the world and know the muse only. The little finger, strong yet frail, cannot hold you. You are opaque. The ears are senseless that should give us hearing. Brubeck plays. Take five. This is your song of Solomon. With closed lid, your soul's flesh eye, you dwell in the stars. Mahalia sings. You drift and go gently. Let the wind of youthfulness stir that long black lock of thine and carry thy dream to an upward bent. Yes, steal away. You didn't have long to stay here. Rest as I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. Thou art not dead, but flown afar up hills of endless light through blazing corridors of suns where worlds do swing of good and gentle men, of women strong and free, far from the cozenage. Rest now, smile, settle into the stars, rest your weary blues, steal away.